What's up everybody? Luke here, SixPackSmackdown.com. Today we're going to be whipping up some cookies and cream sweet potato protein waffles. Let's get rolling. I'm going to start off here and get myself a fork. I've got some cut sweet potatoes that came in a can um, in natural juices, uh, but you can just get yourself a regular old sweet potato, throw it in the microwave, get it nice and soft. We want one cooked sweet potato. So I'm going to put mine into a blender. This is approximately a sweet potato from what I can tell. Okay. So we got the one cooked sweet potato. Into that, half a cup of egg whites. You can buy liquid egg whites. I just took the whites from three large eggs. Put that in there. And then this is my wet. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to hit it on the blender just enough to make it kind of a smooth batter. I don't want to whip the snout out of this or it's going to make it way too fluffy. So, I'm going to hit this on the blender. Alright, that took a little bit of coaxing, but I finally got it into a nice smooth puree. So, I'm going to take a bowl. I'm going to dump the uh, puree right into the bowl. Good. It's just kind of nice, kind of looks like baby food. Okay, so next into our dish, we're going to put in um, oat flour. Take one quarter cup of regular rolled oats and put them in a blender and just smash them up until it looks like flour. Put that in. Also into here, we're going to add stevia. Um, I've got about a half a tablespoon. You can do this to taste, however much you want to add. Put that in for a nice sweet waffle. Then finally, we got ourselves some cookies and cream, Pure Way Plus from Champion Performance. We're going to put in a quarter. Got my one quarter measuring cup. cup. Put this in. Dump that in. Now we're just going to take that same fork. Because I don't like to do a lot of dishes, and we're just going to mix this up. Finally, nonstick cooking spray. Spray our waffle iron down. Nice and good. We don't want these to stick. Sometimes protein waffle recipes have a tendency to stick a little bit more than your traditional batter, you know, recipes. So I'm going to scoop in about a half a cup onto my waffle iron. See how that looks. Might need a little bit more. And it doesn't spread, it's not going to spread out like regular um, protein waffles, so we kind of need to help it along here. Putting in a little bit more than half a cup, and I'm just going to smash it right down on top. Let that cook. Come back when it's done, show you the finished product. Stay tuned. I let her go for about five minutes, took a while. So let's take this baby out. It looks pretty good. Didn't stick at all. It's a little heavy. I kind of would imagine that because of all the moisture in the sweet potato. But you can see we got the old sweet potato woo, protein waffle right here. Let's bring her up close so you can see it. Nice waffle. So I'm going to put some light syrup on top of this. You can put whatever the heck you want on top. I'm going with light maple syrup. Go with all natural, go with sugar free, whatever. And let's give this bad boy a taste test. That's really good. Could have maybe let it cook a tad longer. It's still a little moist in there. I wouldn't worry about burning it, but great flavor. Mm. Give this one a try, guys. If you want to switch up your breakfast, get something healthy, get something packed with protein, get some healthy sweet potato carbs in there, this is money. Till next time.